Good afternoon, YouTube. Viva Fry here. Some of you may already know me from my squirrel videos. Uh, others may know me from my fat blind pug. If you don't know who I am, subscribe to my channel. Occasionally, I make some entertaining videos. I'm a lawyer by trade, and something that's I've been obsessed with over the last few days is this backlash uproar to the Fine Brothers React, uh, their announcement to trademark React, and offer licensing so that people can use their, quote, React format. Um, I've watched their original announcement, I've watched their subsequent follow-up, and I've watched um, a bunch of other YouTubers react to this as well. And I've got to say, this is strictly a misunderstanding or a misuse of language. In their original video, the Fine Brothers talk about licensing out their React format to create a global community of React videos. Everyone from every part of the world can create a React video to something that's important to them and it would bring everyone together and it would be amazing. And the idea is interesting. Um, but they use the term React format without specifying what they mean by the format that they think they have some form of protection over. And the impression they've given to YouTube is that if anyone puts up any form of React video, which is pretty generic, somebody's looking at a computer, reacting to a video that's playing in one of the corners of the video, the Fine Brothers are going to go after them. Um, there was a YouTuber who put up a video. Uh, he only had 114 subscribers and the video only had eight views. Um, and his video was flagged for copyright infringement. Um, but he identified that it was rightfully so because he tried to monetize a video that had a copyright segment of one of the Fine Brothers video in it. Now, fair use is one thing, but this YouTuber was trying to monetize a video which included a portion of a video over which he did not have copyright. And you're not allowed to do that. And that's one thing. But when the Fine Brothers come out and say, as they did in their video, you guys can license out our React format. Without specifying what format means, the YouTubers rightfully think that the Fine Brothers want to, or think they have some form of protection over their a pretty generic React format someone reacting to a video as they watch it. Uh, in their original video, they did specify that if you license out their format, they're going to, you know, give you some information, production guidance, uh, creative guidelines, graphics, packages, brand deals, promotion. It, that sounds to me like they want to create something of a franchise where if anyone licenses out all of their stuff, they're going to give you know-how, they're going to give you access to goodwill, they're 13, 14 million users, they're going to give you logos, trademarks, things like that, and that's fine. Um, but when they say format without specifying anything more, it sounds like they're basically saying, we own the 355 millimeter Coke can now, Pepsi can no longer make 355 millimeter format. And that's not how it works. So under Canadian law, you have a couple of intellectual property concepts, one of which is trademark, the other one is copyright. Now copyright is literally the right to copy an original work. So if someone makes a painting, someone writes a book, someone makes a song, if you want to have the right to copy that, you have to license it and you have to pay for that right. And only the creator has copyright. Trademark is a word or a group of words put together to identify a good or a service and that's associated with one company or, or, or individual and that distinguishes it from a competitor's. So in my mind, when the Fine Brothers are saying you can license out our React format, they are referring to both their copyright, which includes the rights that they have over their own works, and some of their trademarks, uh, which may include, I don't know what their trademarks are, which brings us to the second concern is that they say that they're going to trademark the term React, and therefore anybody who uses the term React in one of their React videos can potentially be flagged in YouTube. If they try to trademark React, good luck to them. Um, under Canadian law, you can't trademark a purely descriptive word. So you can't trademark beautiful. You can't trademark nauseous. You can't trademark dizzy. I don't think the, the, they're going to be able to trademark react. I mean, that's, it's, it's too broad. It's purely descriptive. It's someone having a reaction. So they're going to try. We'll see what happens. I don't think they're going to get any form of trademark protection over the term react. It's just too generic and too descriptive. Um, so we'll see if and when that happens. But for the time being, I think that the the reaction and the uproar is maybe a little exaggerated, but certainly results from a miscommunication or a poor expression of what the Fine Brothers were attempting to license out and what they were offering and what their goal is. I'm not trying to protect them, um, because if they think, 
uh, if it's not a question of improper use of language and they actually think that they have some sort of legal protection over their React format in, in the sense of looking at a computer and reacting to a video as it plays, they don't. Um, so we'll see where this goes. Uh, it's interesting to follow and it's uh, important to use language properly. Peace out. Subscribe.